Hey, good evening everyone. This is Trader Tim from eminimind.com and today is the 15th of February, 2018. I want to kind of walk through uh, one of the uh, trades from this morning and uh, you know something that happens uh, fairly frequently. And uh, so let's take a look at the ES and this morning we kind of opened up, well we opened up with the gap up as you can see over here on the left and then sort of drifted the first hour where we made this V reversal right in the first uh, 30 minutes and then kind of dipped again and and almost you know a uh, triangle formation <clears throat> before breaking down where you can see like so breaking down below that trend line and then uh, retracing up to you know kind of the bottom side the back side of that what was uh, kind of a consolidation period now acting as sort of horizontal resistance. So when you get into this kind of a situation, you you end up with sort of this retracement from the most recent high to lows that you know kind of uh, sets up very closely to the all the way back from highs of the morning to lows. And so the best approach I've found to handling this situation is to simply you know draw up the full retracement and then let it get its reaction if there's going to be one so you'll notice you know we kind of came up the first time and sold off a little bit then came up again traded into it and then sold off and actually broke the swing low so once we trade up into the short which I'll call the 15 minute short we can draw from lows to highs and then that gives us the opposing long and I want to make sure that the market doesn't just stop at the long and bounce and what we had here was a break of the 618 which I use as the failure point and then it's at that point that we broke the swing low we broke the 618 then I'll draw up from the 15 minute 50% retracement down to lows and use this 270950s as my entry. And so with just waiting for a little bit of confirmation, uh, you end up you know, taking the trade just a, a point or so lower than you would have if you, you know, just took it with a, a blind limit at the 15, but uh, you don't know if it's gonna test at the full retracement or just the kind of most recent retracement like so. So, you know, then once you're in the trade, uh, simply trailing your stop above swing highs is uh, the best approach to be able to hang on to you know, the trade for quite a long time and really capitalize, you know, a good eight points on this move just by trailing your stop above swing highs until that swing high gets broken, which it did down here, about 2702s, and then, uh, you know, gets you out of the trade. So. Uh, very very common setup that I see occurrence where you have you know a couple of potential bigger levels you've got the all the way back from highs to lows in the morning and you also have the most recent high to low so just wait for it to trade and break the swing low draw up the opposing once that breaks then take the first short or the first long after the 512 and use that as your entry you know, keeping that small six tick stop and then trail highs on the way down. So great little setup, nice little trade today. And uh, I hope everyone has a great uh, three-day weekend and we will talk to you on Tuesday.